And this is the third, part three, in the series there. The Archie Luxury for 2014, fuckers. And it's going well. It's going well. Let me have a little sip. Mmm. 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 And this final video, yes, I'm wearing the AP, fuckers. This final video looks at, looks at Archie Luxury's EDC collection. And then we look at his steam engine collection and some of the other hangers on. At the conclusion of this series, we really need to assess what Archie needs to do long term with his collection. Collecting is a fun thing. In many ways, it's like gardening. Sometimes we need to prune off sections to let healthy growth come through. So I'd like you fuckers to help advise Archie what should he keep, what should he sell, what should he reinvest in. This is a wonderful series. I'm enjoying bringing it to you. And uh, it just shows you the quality content that Archie's gone to to bring you a luxury channel. I didn't just slap on a sexy aftershave, spray it round my, my, my bottom parts and talk about one watch I own. No! No! I went into debt to the tune of about fifty fucker thousand dollars, fifty thousand to get stock. You got to be serious if you're running a luxury channel. And uh, we'll talk numbers in my next video. But uh, fuckers, enjoy this, the Archie Luxury yearly collection review, fuckers. Tell me what you think. Enjoy, fuckers! And uh, finally concluding, coming to the end of the Archie Luxury Collection, we got some of Archie's EDC wear. That's right. Everyday carry sort of items. And uh, I've just received an email in saying, Archie, you're doing the collection reviews. You've got to cover wallets. You've got to cover some EDC stuff. So I thought, hey, let's go through some EDC. So here we go. Let's have a look at some of Archie's EDC. And uh, what doesn't stand out like dog's balls? A pair of Cartier Santos sunglasses. Hey, what do you think, fuckers? Hey, fuckers! Hey, Ivan fucking Vanity, what sunglasses have you got, fucker? And, uh, yeah, that's a really nice pair, Archie. We've got little things here. When Archie had a BMW, he had a, a BMW keyring from Hardy Brothers. And, uh, unfortunately, the new BMWs, they don't actually use a key like that. They've got a different type of system now, Archie. you got an LV Epi Black Wallet. Yep, yep, that's, uh... That's nice, Archie. That's really nice there. No money in it, Archie. And uh, we've also got... We've got a Patek Philippe wallet. Yes, that's a beautiful thing there, Archie. A beautiful Patek Philippe wallet. Patek Philippe wallet, hey? There you go, Archie. That's what you want to have. Patek Philippe. What a wonderful wallet there and you've also got the the little wallet holder Descartes gave you haven't you and uh let's have a look there we've got ah oh, look at these cute little omega cufflinks in steel what a great great accessory we got some dunhill dunhill cufflinks at the back there yeah they're cute archie that's cool we've got some uh we've got a dunhill tie clip yeah, that's okay, Archie. Oh, we got Archie's Archie's cutter. That's right, Archie's cigar cutter. Very important. Uh, we've also got Archie's Archie's wonderful 
Purcell sunglasses. What a wonderful pair of frames these are, fuckers. And uh, EDC is such an important thing to you American fuckers. American fuckers. And here's a, uh, a small, a lovely little version of um, Pursol sunglasses. I love that sexy logo. Just love the tortoiseshell look. Just absolutely love those fuckers. Love those fuckers. And uh, I got to say, per soul, actually, let me just show you. I didn't actually show you the, what I love about these glasses is just that, that green. Look at that green. They're just absolutely gorgeous frames. Absolutely love these glasses. That's Archie Luxury's choice. And uh, I've also got a pair of funeral glasses, Aristotle Onassis, Gucci. Gucci fuckers, these are big fuck off Gucci's. When you want to look like Aristotle, like, these are funeral glasses to be worn to hide grief. That's what it's for from Gucci. The rules for wearing something at a funeral must be highest quality, must show absolute respect. Gucci. Can't get better than Gucci fuckers. Uh, I've also got my Giorgio Armani. These are my fake glasses. I just went into a store and said, hey, those frames are beautiful. And uh, I didn't need glasses, but uh, I just got them to put clear lenses through. Clear lenses, fuckers. Look at that. Clear lenses. And uh, these great glasses. These are Armani, Giorgio Armani. And they're not the fucking, they're not the fucking lifestyle range. This is proper Giorgio Armani. Uh, so there you go, fuckers. That's the expensive one. That's the expensive one. So, uh, yep, I quite enjoy those. I love a Giorgio Armani frame. Um, oh, yeah, the, the little card holder Descartes gave me. Such a beautiful, look at this, such a, a well-made thing. And just in case I take up smoking, I've got my vintage Dunhill... Alfred Donhill cigar cigarette tip fuckers get me a packet there you go fuckers that's uh that's some of my EDC I hope you've enjoyed this and uh look there we go fuckers this is uh the Archie luxury luxury good show and I hope you've enjoyed it I've got a few more things to show you and uh Give me some advice, fuckers. What do I keep? What do I sell, fuckers? Archie's love of steam toys goes back to his impoverished childhood. And Archie's built a, uh, an impressive collection of Walesco and Mamard steam engines and steam, steam models. And uh, the, collection, the collection has been something. It's always been a cornerstone of Archie's existence and uh, we really I don't know they're not hugely valuable I mean this is under ten thousand dollars but it's it's uh, quite a nice little thing to have there nice little models and untouched by Chinese hands these 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 uh, these items here very very rare in today's society but, uh, yep, they're, they're part of the Archie collection. They're part of the extravaganza. And they're part of the flamboyant nature that is Archie. And uh, interesting shit. These are interesting shit there. So, I don't know, fuckers. You might say, sell them off. Keep them. I'm asking your advice. And uh, I'm asking for the advice because things aren't doing well on the Archie bus. The Archie bus of life. Too many passengers, not enough fare payers. They're all fucking fare dodgers. That's right. On the Archie bus of life, <clears throat> there's uh, too many people on it and not enough income coming in. And uh, it's, a, it's a hard life. So um, I'm seeking advice from everyone here. I'm seeking advice. I want to know what I should do. But um, it's nice to have a look at Archie's steam toy collection. And uh, there's a few other little obscure collections that Archie's got there, but um, the steam toy, yeah, it's kind of dainty, it's kind of cute, you know, it's very, very uh, 50s Britain, 
Wonderful feeling, and uh, even the Jerry's are in on it too. W Walesco is the, the German brand, the West German brand, I might say. West German brand, and uh, it gives Archie a lot of pleasure to have these things. So um, I'm after your advice. What do you think? What do you think, fuckers? Sell it all off or keep it, fuckers? Tell me this now. Okay, next collection, fuckers. And let's not forget. Archie's Tin Toy Collection. This is the Hornby O-Gage. Only minty, 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 minty pieces. Original in box. That's right, fuckers. Original in box. Archie Luxuries Vintage Hornby O-Gage Tin Plate Tin Toy Collection. Very collectible. Only box specimens need apply. Thank you very much, fuckers. Yes, this is another of Archie's obscure sub-collections. The Archie Luxury Hornby O-Gage Boxed Only Hornby Sets and Accessory Collection. Nice one, fuckers. Nice one. And uh, it's good to see the kids having a little bit of a play. I think that was taken about five years ago. Jeez, they've grown. But uh, yes, Archie's a huge collector. Loves the LV. Loves quality, loves the watches, the watches are cool, loves the jewellery for her indoors, loves the pens, the pens are really great, snazzy pens, and uh, loves the clocks, the Cartier clocks, loves the EDC, but he also loves obscure things like uh, bronze, bronze stuff, bronze artwork, like this, this hunting, hunting tiger, it's a panther. And a dog with pups there in bronze. All in bronze the way Archie likes all his pets. Not shitting all over the place. Even Archie's fine dining china. Oil Royal Albert. Yes, any royal. What the fuck is that teapot, Archie? There's a, uh, there we go. Back to the Royal Albert. So there we go. Archie's collections. What do you think, fuckers? What do you think, fuckers? Oh, and I nearly forgot, Archie's extensive library. That's right, all the shit that Archie collects, he's got books and catalogues and shit to go with it. And uh, a lot of that stuff is quite pricey to buy and hard to get. So uh, there's also Archie's extensive collectible library. Tell me what you think, fuckers. This has been the Archie Luxury Collection Review. What do you think, fuckers?